Hi, my name is Kalyan Siddhabatula. I'm a system engineer working at Texas Instruments who works in wireless power systems. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about what's coming from Texas Instruments in 2013. As you're well aware, TI has been a market leader in wireless power systems and has produced the world's first receiver and transmitter EVMs and also the world's smallest integrated receiver that allows the market to create products like the Nokia Lumia phone. What I'd like to show you today is what's coming in 2013 in this space. As you're also aware, there are multiple standards and bodies creating specifications for products coming forward. And many of our customers have requested products that are compliant to standards, both the WPC and PMA. What I'd like to show you is a sneak peek at our receiver IC that is coming in 2013. What you can see here is an internal board with our receiver IC connected to a wireless receiver coil. Over here, I have a WPC compliant transmitter that is available in the market, as well as a PMA compliant transmitter that is also available in the market. I will take the same EVM and place it on both the transmitters and show operation at five watts. First on the WPC transmitter. As you can see, it comes up and regulates to five watts, which is five volts and one amp in this particular case. Now, I will take the same EVM and move it over to the PMA compliant transmitter and show you delivering five watts. As you can see, it also delivers five watts on a PMA compliant transmitter. Therefore, without any changes to BOM or schematic, you're able to create a five watt compliant uh, PMA and WPC system. Now, let me show you what happens or what happens when we integrate this in the phone. What we have taken is a commercially available Nokia Lumia phone and retrofitted with one of our dual mode receiver ICs. I will show you the same phone working on both the WPC and the PMA compliant transmitters. First on the WPC system. As you can see, the phone comes up and charges on a WPC transmitter. You can see from the LED that the phone is charging. The same phone I will now take and place on a PMA compliant transmitter. It will also come up and charge. As you can tell from the transmitter light and from the phone charging. This product will allow customers to create dual mode solutions in the market in 2013 and 2014. Thank you.